Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to more Tekken multiplayer with my friend Dan Giesling. What's up, Dan? Mathis, what's going on? It's been a I'm while for us, not for, us. for the people it's, watching it's, it. Monday, Wednesday, time Friday. for everybody else, I believe. So. Yeah. Um, I feel like I have immediate damage control to do at the beginning of this episode with uh, with some of the commenters, though. What, so I, I'll give, do that right now. Give me some updates. What what uh, what have you? So read? I said something along the lines of comments last time, and I said I don't read them for my own sanity, which is yeah. mostly true. I really don't read them for my own sanity for the most part, but I still do like skim them for them. Like, here's the thing: I, what, the bigger the, cha uh, the channel gets, the more and more comments you're gonna end up getting. And the more and more comments you get, the more trolly asshole comments are bound to come in. And for that reason, I try to avoid it for the most part. But I'll still go into the, especially with a new game, I'll still go into a comment section. And I will read, uh, like, some of the top comments that are not trolly. And I'll probably, like, shadow ban people who are being douchebags. Um, but I, I feel like I need to clarify that I still do read the comments. It's just I don't read them as fervently as I did back when I was a much smaller channel. And I guess I apologize for that. But y'all, I mean, it's just part of it's part of the gig, man. I'm yeah. sorry. No, I I understand. You know, but I think like I I read your comments too, and I saw that I'm like, uh, I'm, I'll this should probably be brought up, but I'm not going to be the one to bring it up. So. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> No, I mean, I understand. I mean, like, you know, some of your comments just go on for days. And, you know, like you said, it's hard to, I would imagine it's hard to sift the good stuff from, you know, the trolls. It's weird, man. Like, and people have talked about it before. Other YouTubers, myself, like, have talked about it. It's one of those, it's, it's just a weird psychological thing where you can get, like, 20 great comments telling you what a great job you're doing and how much they love your videos and stuff. But it's that, like, one asshole comment. That sticks out, and that's what you remember. You, you totally forget about the other twenty. Yeah, and it's it's not even like it's weird. It's just such a weird feeling to just that 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 one dick comments the one that sticks out in your head, and, and so for like, and it's one of the reasons that like a bigger YouTube YouTubers have turned their comments off, like completely. Like Total Biscuit comes to mind. He's turned his comments off completely because the the negative stuff gets to him, and I understand that. And I think Nerd Cube does the same thing. It's weird. It's a weird world, but I, it's. I apologize if it, ma it makes some people mad. It has nothing to do with <laughs> you guys, because you, the the people who are getting mad are the people who leave the good stuff, and I apologize. It's not you guys. It's every other dickhead out there. Yeah, you're not a bad guy, Mathis. You're just, you're just trying to stay sane. Yeah, I mean, you can't. You, everybody's trying to stay the sane. <laughs> All right. All right. We have some. We have to focus. Yeah. Speaking of staying, saying staying, I actually went through the, both of our comments okay. and took some some helpful tips and notes the first right. of which um, someone said we can use peridot and sapphire as tools and they have the right. same type of durability as iron but we don't have to burn our iron so we still need to get um water pumping into this thing yeah that was the other thing i read is that um we just need waterproof pipes and then we can do it which we need cactus to make that so oh right and we went adventuring for that before, but we got to do that again, I think. Yeah, I think we should do that, but I think we should be, um, we need to be well equipped with food. You know, that way we can com yep. come home with the goods as opposed to so, not Right now home. I have five pieces of bread. Okay. And I have Peridot on me. I have two Peridot. Um, is there any more Peridot? I oh. wonder. What is that? What is that workbench? I just that's the first time I clicked on that. What what even oh, is that? We've, we've had that forever. I don't know exactly to be honest. I can't remember. So here's some peridot. I'm gonna take it all and make a tool out of it and see how it goes. Okay, cool. Uh, I think I can make. Do you have a bucket? Yeah. All right, here. I'm gonna make two pick peridot pickaxes. One for me, one for you. Thank and you I guys. do have a bucket. Yes. Can you chuck that to me so I can get our? Thing here's going? a peridot pickaxe. Oh, that's sweet. And here's a bucket for you. Thank you, kind That's sir. That's my one and only bucket, but take care of it. I like the green. That's nice. That's a nice yeah, it looks, little touch. Looks good. So, all right, I got my, I got a Peridot pickaxe now. Um, actually, I'm gonna make before we go. Let's go ahead and make a better looking door. Someone also recommend we should probably. Uh, we should probably. Uh, come up with some armor, some armor situations. Yeah, uh, that's fine. We can easily do that. 
Hey, we're, right. I put right. the water right. in the steam dynamo. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yep. You put it in the. You can just right click on it on the steam dynamo, uh, dynamo with then, the water bucket. And then how do you turn it on? You need to put coal in there as well. It needs to have a, fu a fuel source to burn. Got it. Okay. Can we use wood or it has to be coal? Uh, I think we can use some wood. You okay. can try. Uh... Um, I'll start cracking out some armor. Okay. Do you have. We have to have some pulverized iron somewhere. Somewhere, you would think. Um, gunpowder. It would it would be in that bucket, yeah, or this thing right here. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Pulverized lead. I don't. Silver I think we could probably make. Huh. And we don't have anything. No. Maybe maybe we can make some armor out of some copper. I'll give it a shot. All right. I need to. We need to get some more wood. No, we cannot. Uh. Dirt, silver. We have copper in that bucket, in that uh, chest, though. Okay, I see what you're saying. Do we have any sapphires? I thought we had a bunch of sapphire. Uh, I don't have any on me. Huh. I'm gonna run to the mine. We, I still want to make a brand new mine shaft, though. Okay. Which is one of the things we were working on before. <laughs> There's just so much, so much to do. I know, I know. We're, uh, we're an unorganized mess. All right. There's a coal. Oh, we have a ton of coal in our home chest. Okay, cool. So right Grab now, that. we're pulverizing some some of that. Okay. Okay. I, we have like 70 coal in this home chest, so I'm bringing this back. I'm going to make... We get. We have to get... I'm going to go get some more wood for us, and then we can make wood armor, right? I believe. Yeah, yeah, we could. We I know it's... Make some wood armor. I know it's nothing it's probably, to write home it's about. It's better than but, nothing, yeah. yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and make right. We already had a mine shaft going. All right. It's rods. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring back a couple stacks of wood because currently we're wood deficient. All right, makes sense. I'm gonna start cracking out um, a little bit of a better mine shaft here. Okay. Just while you do that, and then once you like, I'll wait for you to get some armor. I'll have you bake the armor. Okay. And uh, while you're doing that, I'm gonna start. Organizing the mine shaft a little bit better. Hey, the other thing too, someone gave a really good uh, tip is that if you see spider webs in the dungeon, sword, right? Yeah, and then we yeah. can make our second bed. If you stack three silk or whatever, it turns into wool. So then we can. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that either. But that was... Is that a vanilla thing? I wonder. You would think it would have to be, but I've never done that before. Me either. All right. The so... things you learn. <laughs> All right. Are you excited for Fallout, Dan? Um, Mathis, I, w I was thinking about it. Like, I, th it's to the point now. Last night, I watched the trailer again, and I couldn't fall asleep. <laughs> yeah. So like, get on Christmas. Yeah, I mean, then I was thinking, okay, what was I doing the, the last time Fallout, you know, Fallout game was released, which I consider, you know, Fallout Three, and that was six years ago. I mean, yeah, it was. It was a long time ago. That's a long time to go to have like such a franchise like Fallout to not really. I know that New Vegas came out, but but, but New Vegas came out relatively close to the release of three, like maybe a year, maybe two years at most later. Yeah, and, and like I always looked at it as like a glorified DLC. I know that's not like entirely true, but it's not like there was any improvements. You know, it was just like more content, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, in terms of Fallout Four, it you know. I'm so excited. I don't I don't know how to put it into words. Like I told my wife, I'm like, look, you know, there's <laughs> it's probably gonna be two or three days that, you know, I'm gonna be twelve hours like no contact. <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be missing. I'm sorry. Just, I'm not gonna be around. Yeah, I mean, because it's like I feel like there's certain games that you know it's once in a lifetime, and I feel like this is a once in a lifetime type game. What do you think about it? Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I mean, like I I'm excited enough to like set aside an entire week and stream every single day, which for me is a lot because I don't stream that often. Yeah. Uh, I stream a couple times a week maybe, but uh, for me I'm like I'm gonna stream it every day for like three or four hours, maybe more if I'm like hooked. <laughs> um, and I'm pumped for that. Like, I don't know. Like Fallout Three was one of those things where I remember putting hundreds of hours into like the Xbox 360 version, and that was like you know. Terrible load times yeah. and all kinds of stuff, and then I put even more hundred, like hundreds of more hours in the PC version when that came out. Uh, when I eventually got a PC rather that could run it, I don't, I'm just, I, it's gonna be, it's, it's gonna be, um, 
It's gonna be a fun week. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. A very little. A very little sleep. No, it's, I'm. I'm really excited. I. Uh, I went through a little bit of a. I still kind of going through a dilemma because with Fallout 3, I got it for the PS3, mm -hmm. and like that's probably the first game that like, in a long time, and at least in recent memory, that I like was hooked on. Like I would come home from work and I would just play that all night you know and yep. like there was no like there was no anything else it was just come home and play that and then so anyway so I ended up getting the platinum trophy on PS3 for it and I'm like okay do I get the PS4 version or do I get the Xbox One version even though I'm going to be creating a series for it you know off the PC version you know I just don't know what to do and it was like such a dilemma and I don't know why have you decided what one you're getting yeah, I mean, not really. I mean, I know I'm gonna do my, I'm gonna do a series on YouTube with the PC version. Yeah, with the PC version. Which but you is, want one at home. Yeah, and like, it's hard to like. It really comes down to trophies, and it's just hard to like. Did you play PS3 or you were a 360 guy? When I uh, played the original, it was all, I was the 360 guy for the okay. most part. I did not have a lot on the PS3. I owned a PS3, but I didn't do much with it. See, I mean, what are your thoughts on? Like, I went through kind of a debate last night on stream about gamer scores versus trophies. And are you much of, like, a trophy hunter or achievement not guy? Not really. No. no, not really. I, I enjoy the pop-up when I get it, but yeah. I never really go out of my way for it. Really? Yeah. Not even, like, a game that you're, like, all in on? Like No, what? I'm trying to think of the last game that I really went nuts on trophies or, like, achievements or one of the other four. And... Honestly, the last thing, the last game I can remember where I was like, I'm going to go for the achievements was like Crackdown 1. <laughs> like that, that long ago. And well, then I just, I just, I stopped. I didn't really care. Well, let me phrase it to you this way. So Binding of Isaac Rebirth. So essentially you yeah. platinum that or got yeah. all the gamer scores. Would you have a preference of you would, whether you would have trophies or you'd rather have gamer score? Or to you, it doesn't matter. Uh, I, I guess to the slightest degree, I might have a preference on gamer score, uh -huh. but that's pro probably because that was introduced to me first. Got it. Trophies came later. Okay. See, I just feel like, personally, which, I mean, that makes sense. You grew up, you know, you grew up with 360, so you want, you know, you're used to this, the, the, uh, the score, but for me, you know, it was the, there's something about hearing, like, the chime of the trophy and then yeah. seeing, like, you see, like, a bronze trophy and a silver trophy and a gold trophy or a platinum trophy. And there's got to be something psychological to it. You know how, like, Steam... Oh, they, it's designed that way. It's yeah. like gambling. Yeah. Gambling's got to be designed the same way where, like, certain sounds kind of, like, hit that particular part <laughs> of your brain. Where you're just like, ooh, that felt good. Yeah. And so I think, like, when Xbox, for me, because I didn't play 360, I played PS3. When the, when the gamer score pops up, it's not that same like Pavlov's dog response as like <laughs> the chime from you know a PlayStation but yeah t I think I'll, I'll just to keep things simple I'm not a are you I'm not a two console guy you know I, I think I'm just going to get the Xbox one version you know and keep gotcha. it simple so yeah yeah I don't have an Xbox one so if I was going to get a console version it would be obviously the PS4 but I'm not going to get a console version so um, um so uh, I, I heard uh, one of your so you have a couple new alerts coming out. Oh, uh, yep, they'd be awesome. I love them. So, in case you guys don't know, so Mathis did a you know so you're doing a new sub alert and a new donation alert, right? Yeah, for the week of Fallout Four. So, uh, I'm excited. I don't know. I want to give him a sneak peek right now, but it's uh every once in a while in my series and stuff out of nowhere, like I forget what I when I first did it, but I do like this weird like old timey radio voice. <laughs> so I, I did that for the so dub. Because like, it fits perfectly in the world of Fallout. Uh, and I, I took that and I, I took some old, uh, like, radio static tuning noises in, like, Morse code. I uh, took all that, that audio and I brought it into Premiere. And then I put a, a filter over my voice that I messed with for a bit to get, like, make it sound like it's coming through a radio. Uh, a little bit staticky, a little bit rough sounding. And uh, kind of combine it all together and it sounds like, like a 1950s radio station broadcast that's coming through. So every time somebody subs or donates, it's going to sound like that. And I, I, there's a preview of it up on my Twitter. You can go check it out. It's pretty – I liked it. I had fun with it. Yeah, so last night Mathis tweeted it out. And, you know, I expect, like, high-level things from Mathis, you know, when I see that. He's like, hey, check out this new, 
you know, don- donation sound. And, and I was telling him earlier, I'm like, you know, I expected it to be, you know, like, like you'd hear like a fallout bomb in the background or something like that. But then I listen to him, I'm like, holy cow, like this could actually be in the game. You know, that's, all, <laughs> that's all it is. So if it, you guys owe it to yourself. If you're mildly interested, you should definitely check it out just for the sake that you're like, Matt, this really did that. It's really good, man. That's, that's <laughs> Thanks, I'm man. really impressed it. with it. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to hear that actually. Cause I, I put some time into it. it. Took me like, I don't know. All together, probably like twenty minutes per per clip for like a few seconds each. Uh huh. But uh, I was happy with the with the result, and I'm I'm glad you you think it sounded as good as as good as I thought it sounded. So. Oh yeah, it's awesome. And then I didn't know, like I was telling you before, I didn't know if it was you actually the voice. It sounded like you know yep. like a 1930s radio commercial. You can kind of tell it's me when there's not like the filters over it. Uh-huh. You can hear. You can definitely hear it's more me there. Uh, but once you slap the filters over it and uh, you make the you put the background noises in, it's a lot harder to distinguish if it's me or if it's somebody somebody else completely, <laughs> which is good. That's yeah. what I want. No, it's very well done. Uh, Let's take this. Cool. Have you uh, have you briefed uh, Carrie on like your availability during? Yeah, she knows. Oh, okay. she knows. <laughs> she knows that's how. I'm not surprising her and being like surprise. <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry, not at. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that mean. All right. Um, that'll so be I, fun. All right, so I got a, a bunch of wood. Um, I don't know what that accomplished, but oh, uh, oh, for wood armor. That's what we bought it for. Yep. And I'm smelting the pulverized iron right now. Okay. Um, because we probably want to grab some pickaxes. I mean, basically the goal here is to find some desert, right? Like that's 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 what we need right now. Yeah. So we're get. So I guess our strats right now is just get geared up, make sure we have food, make sure we have armor. Yep. So we can come back with some cactus. That's all this for the cactus. For the cactus, so that we can make a waterproof pipe, so that we can have the steam dynamo always generating. Yeah, always going by itself. We can always have it just grinding away. Baby steps, baby steps. Yeah. So right. comments like, by the time these guys are done, it'll be 2020. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sorry. <laughs> We're exploring at a, a vanilla pace here. Oh wow! We don't have the wiki with the wiki open, so the um, the what's it called's growing in pretty good. Yeah, I'm harvesting away as we speak. All right, so let me. I'm gonna get started here on the wood, or uh, yeah. Wood. I might come back into this farm once we're done doing our thing and redo a lot of it again. What uh, do you mean? Uh, I have it in a very. It's good. I like the way it's going, but I could have it set up a bit more optimally. So. In which way? Like. Maybe not having a row of water, but only having one spot of water, and that one spot of water uh, watering a four square block, and then just kind of doing it like that. Could probably grow a lot more food that way. Got it. Hey, that moment you realize you can't make wood armor. I'm thinking. I was thinking wood, but it's leather. Oh, you're right. Wood wood armor is terraria. Is it? I don't. It must. Yeah. No, I know you can definitely do it in terraria. How do we get these cows to breed? We have to feed them, or they just yeah, you it. need to give them wheat, but we kind of want to save our wheat for now. Okay. I want to just go make some bread. Well, we can just go out and then, together. We we should make beds before we do this. And we should not bring anything of value. That way, if we die, I mean. That's true. All right, cool. So, okay. Here, what are you gonna bring us? Uh, I have eleven. I have eleven bread right now. Okay. I got a couple apples, so that'll. I'm gonna get these cows all horned up. <laughs> There we go. We can, can we feed them mushrooms? Probably not, huh? I don't know, but they made a baby, so there you go. Another uh, cow in the baby town. Mushroom soup. How do you make mushroom? Do you ever make mushroom soup in this game, Mathis? A long time ago, maybe. You need like a bowl and like three okay. mushrooms, I think. Okay. Um, what did I say we needed? Uh, we just need something. I don't know. There's so much going on. All, All right, right. Let's put. So. This in here. Look at this. All right. So let's yeah. Let's just get ourselves. Uh, so we, you remember how to make soup? Is it just I have a bowl and I have five mushrooms, but it's not like three oh mushrooms God. in the top row and the bowl underneath or something. Uh, Mathis. Yeah. I. You know what time it is? No. Nope. Yeah. Time to end it. Yeah. It's 19 minutes and 50 seconds on my clock, brother. Oh, all right. What are we shooting for? Uh, 20. 
Okay. We got we got five <laughs> seconds. So okay. You give it five seconds here. All right. Well, let's get geared up before we end the episode. So we're, the next episode, we can just literally march out. All right. So you have a sword. Bread. I do have a sword. Okay. I have three apple. Uh, I have eleven bread and seventeen ro rotten flesh on the off chance we need it. Okay. I'm not bringing. Are you bringing any iron pickaxes? No, right. No, I'm bringing the peridot pickaxe, but we probably don't need it. Okay. Um, I'll put it in the tool chest for now. Okay. Um, I would say one of us should bring a pickaxe just in case. An iron one? Yeah, just bring. Or it doesn't matter like that. Okay. I would like to sleep in a bed before we die, but it's it's not that big a deal to be honest with you. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good for next episode. All right, so next episode we're gonna hit the road and try to track down some cacti. Correct. Sounds good to me. All right, Matt, this you want to take All us All right, on? yeah, sure. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. As always, we enjoy and appreciate your support. Make sure you check the description box for a link to the other person's channel and check out their perspective. And as always, we'll see all of you guys next time. Later, guys. Bye.